Okay, that looks revolting, but yeah, I eat my fruit because it's healthy and delicious. Oh my god. By this I mean maybe have a little cry if you're feeling sad, tell people how you feel, make sure you leave some time in your day to think about things. Just stop overthinking. I bet about 90% of the time you overthink, you're wrong. Remember that overthinking solves nothing. Live in the moment and don't worry about anything but what you're having for dinner because that's pretty important. Make sure you moisturize your skin because it will make you glow and then you automatically glow up without actually really having to do anything because you can physically glow if you put moisturizer on. I'd say pluck your eyebrows should be one, but like I haven't plucked my eyebrows in like two months, so scrap that. You don't need to pluck your eyebrows to be pretty. Because I find eyebrows can get quite tiresome, you know. If you're doing the same thing to your eyebrows every day, you might get bored. So maybe try doing a soap brow or fill them in if you don't usually fill them in or don't fill them in if you usually fill them in. Just do something different. I personally just use like a little bit of eyebrow pencil and then clear mascara and kind of buff them up. Make sure you always apply lip balm because crusty lips are not the secret to glowing up, I promise you. Accentuate your features but don't cover them up because you're all beautiful and you should all show off your features. They're two very different things. Taking inspiration from others is looking at someone else's style and thinking they look great, I want to look that great so I'm going to copy their jeans or I'm going to wear a similar top or I'm going to do my hair like they do their hair. But do not compare yourself to others because that will do the opposite of make you have a glow up. That will make you glow down and make you feel so, so much worse. Stop snacking if you want to lose weight. Start snacking if you want to put on weight. Revamp your Instagram and by this I mean take better selfies, take more selfies or if you don't want to take pictures of yourself and fair enough that is quite vain. Take pictures of like your clothes or something else, the scenery but don't post too many pictures of the scenery because like no one cares. Here's the time in the video where I plug my Instagram. If you don't already follow me, go follow me. One immense way to glow up is to stop listening to the chop charts because charts music is l disgusting. Get a new music taste or at least widen your music taste. Such a flex if you've ever done music taste. You don't want to be that person who is controlling the music and you put on a load of TikTok songs. Even though I have done that before, don't really recommend. Whatever you do, do not fake tan. Fake tan, ugh. Unless it's natural and golden, do not do it. You look like an orange. I just feel like whenever you condition your hair, it makes you just feel so much better because your hair just feels soft and supple. Treat yourself. Now I'm not saying you have to wear sexy underwear to be a woman because you don't. You can wear granny panties all you want girls. But if you get out some sexy underwear, you know, some red Victoria's Secret then... Number one, you'll know that you're wearing nice underwear. Number two, if you have a boyfriend or, you know, you want to have some fun, then um, having sexy underwear is just a bonus, isn't it? It's just not a round bonus. Spend less time on your beautiful phone of yours because it makes you depressed and it makes you feel lonely and sometimes you just need time for yourself with your own head. Go and meet a friend or obviously social distance or go talk to your family, go for a walk or something without your phone. 
and also with staying off your phone be more productive stop procrastinating stop staying in bed for five hours get up and do something even if it's just i don't even know like even if it's just making yourself a fruit salad or something just be productive Furthermore, getting that English lit GCSE in there, take up a new hobby. This could be running. I've taken up running. I really enjoy it. Well, really is a strong word. I kind of somewhat enjoy it. Stop biting your nails. Paint your nails. That is a great way to glow up. It makes you look so much prettier. It really doesn't, but I just couldn't think of 50 things. So here we are. Paint your nails. This is a really ugly colour, actually, so maybe don't use this colour. And then also paint your toenails. Ew, I just showed my feet to the camera. Um, That is not really on, is it? That's not really on. Paint your toenails. I just did it again. I just did it again. Don't use face masks, they do fuck all and they probably just make your skin worse. Like, I've never personally used a face mask that's actually made a difference, so don't waste your money on face masks. If you smoke, please stop smoking. It's the biggest turn off ever. No one finds it attractive. It's gross. Stop smoking. To glow up, you need to stop wasting time and find a new crush. Now this next one sounds extremely sad, but learn some TikTok dances because the ultimate flex is knowing a TikTok dance. Like if your friend's like, oh, do you know this TikTok dance? You're like, yes, then you can do it together and then you can become TikTok famous. Follow my TikTok too, because I'm so good at dancing. I think the biggest thing that you can do to glow up is learn to love yourself. Honestly, this makes such a big impact. I personally haven't learned to love myself yet, but you just stop caring about all your little insecurities and you stop caring about what everyone else looks like and you just love yourself for who you are. Learn to love your body and everything about your body. If you have insecurities and you can fix them by working out or by eating healthier, then do so. Or if you have insecurities that you can't do anything about, then learn to love them because you're gonna be stuck with them for the rest of your life. Learn to love your face. Everyone has different faces, obviously, and everyone has insecurities about their faces. But if you can fix your insecurities in some way by makeup or by doing a different hairstyle that matches your face shape, etc., then do so. But you should learn to love your face because you're stuck with it for the rest of your life. Learn to love your personality. Love who you are because who you are is essentially the most important thing. It's how you make relationships with people. It's how you go about your day-to-day -day life with your head, with your soul. So make sure you are who you want to be and don't pretend to be someone else. Music